So this is TLB here with another edition of Sheen Talk Live, and we are here with the Princess of Crime Mall. Yeah, what's up, what's up? <laughs> I'm good, thank you for having me. Okay, so let's talk about your music then. Okay. Okay, so what would you say, how would you describe your style of music? Oh, so when we started, I was 15. When we signed at six, I was signed at 16, and the music was way more rowdy and crunk and like in your face. Um, and then now that I'm older and I'm a mother, it's a little more cute and sassy, but still fun. I'm still rocking my hips and my stilettos and everything, but it's just more, it's like crunk conscious. Like I'm, I'm still crunk, but I'm more conscious about, you know, like I could beat your butt, but I'm not going to. The growth. <laughs> Okay, so what would you say sets you apart as an artist now that you've grown so much among all the other artists out there? That's a good question. I think the things that set me apart are, one, I started at a very young age, um, at a high level at a very young age, and I got to see the bad side of the business and the good side of the business where we got our publishing taken from us, we was on the road, um, everybody knew our song and we were making like $200 a day out of our shows. Yeah, we, 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 we got hit. We got the welcome to the industry package, you know. So now that I'm older, um, I'm more of a businesswoman. I do artist consulting, so I, I teach other artists about learning their contracts, about learning what to sign, um, moving people around Atlanta working with this person, this producer, or whatever. So I'm just more of an all-around artist and performer. Like, in this day and age, there's so many female rappers out there now. You have to step it up now. You have to almost play an instrument. You got to know how to make a beat. You have to write your music. <laughs> you got to do something because there's so many people coming. So I like it, though. I like the competition. I like when it's a lot of people around, you know, because there's room for everybody as long as you're good, you know. Okay, so is there anybody that you would say that you want to work with that you haven't had a chance to work with yet? Oh, I would love to work with Missy. I would love, I would love to work with Beyonce, of course. And I want to do something with Tina Turner. Oh, that would be dope. Like, just like a jam session or something, just like, just really raw and like really vulnerable. I think she's like the queen of like vulnerability and strength at the same time. And then we can just like do a crying session afterwards. <laughs> okay, so if we were to go and press play on your playlist right now, what song will play? Wow. Oh man, it'll be either Aretha Franklin or Whitney Houston all day, baby. <laughs> all day, like when I'm not in artist mode, um, I'm very mellow, very, um, Zen, you know, so it's either like nature music or classical music. If I'm cooking and cleaning, it's Mariah, Whitney, or Aretha. Yeah, I'm an old soul. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how do you balance being a mom with like being a princess and prime mom? It's hard. Um, the main thing that helps me remember who I am at the time is my hair. And my son is three now, so he calls lashes hair on your eyes. So. If he sees me with colorful hair and, and lashes on, he's like, okay, you're gonna go sing today? Are you getting on an airplane? Are you gonna come right back? I'm like, yes, mommy has to go. I'll be right back. How many days are you gonna be gone? One day I'll be right back. So, you know, I try to keep him as normal as possible, even though, you know, he goes to a public school and the parents know who I am and stuff. So I try to always dress down, ball cap and stuff. And it just, it gives me a little bit of anxiety because I don't know, I guess, how of a fanatic people can be and, you know, want to take pictures of my son or whatever. So that's, that's the biggest thing. But other than that, um, I'm a woman and I think women can do anything. You know, I push my son out with no medicine on my hands and knees. So after that, I'm like, man, I can do anything. I can do anything. <laughs> okay, so what are you working on now? What new projects can we look for from you? So, so this is our 15 year anniversary for Crime Up. So we're doing our album. We're gonna release our album this year. 
Me and Diamond are doing an album that we'll release. And then I have my solo album that we're gonna release. And I have a book that's coming out. So yeah, it's my life um, growing up as a, a young African-American woman, being in the industry, um, being told I'm, I'm cute to be dark skinned, you know, and you know, just if you were a little bit lighter, you would be further and, and growing into myself and all of my insecurities and being a mother and raising a king, you know, just all of those things, the sacrifices of being pregnant and having a song on the radio and everybody like, nope, we didn't hear you just say that, handle it, <laughs> you know, and choosing my career over my child and the psychological effects that that, that take on you, you know, so it gets a little deep. It gets a little deep. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we definitely thank you for coming and sit with us. Tell us how we can find you on social media. Thank you. You can find me on Instagram and all other social media platforms at Princess Digital. My website, theprincessempire.com. You can get all of the Crime Mob and Diamond and Princess and Princess merchandise there. And all of the updates will be up there. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs>